Ian from Lean Media. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a Prime exclusive discounts in Amazon Seller Central for your FBA or FBM orders. If this video helps, please take a moment to like it and follow me and let's get started. So this is the Prime exclusive discounts page. You can create a discount by pressing the button. To get to this particular page, go to the menu icon in the upper uh, left corner, then select advertising and then select Prime exclusive discounts. If you do not see Prime exclusive discounts, that may, that may mean that you're restricted from uh, setting up those types of discounts, either because of the account that you have or because of the types of goods that you have. But I have branded merchandise, my own brand. So I'm gonna be setting up Prime exclusive discounts from this particular page. Let's just get rid of that little message here. And you can see I've used this feature in the past many times, either for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, or for Prime Day uh, as it comes up every year, or in some, some cases recently, two times per year. So the information that you need to create a discount is first of all a uh, an ASIN or a SKU, and then also you need to have an idea of how much of the discount that you want to create. So let's create a discount here, pressing that button. So uh, and step one of three, enter discount details. Um, before we do that, just note that there's a bunch of rules here that are actually pretty helpful to understanding how the Prime Day discounts uh, reach. First of all, there's eligibility criteria. It must have at least a 3.5 star rating or no rating, and the discount must be at least 20% off the non-prime non member, non-promotional price. And that's within the, uh, the the lowest price within the last 30 days. And then there's a, the most that the discount can be, and there's other details right here. Uh, so I'm going to just call this uh, Prime Day Summer 2023. So that's on July 11th to 12th, this particular year. And this, is this a Prime Day discount? And yes, it is. Okay, so it's not letting me use this. So let's just call it summer 2023. Okay, so the discount start date, because I, because I selected, is this a Prime Day discount? It just basically takes away the option for uh, setting up the dates because Amazon will do it automatically. So save and add products. Okay, so here is where we enter in the information. You need your SKU. To get that particular SKU, there's two ways you can get it. You can use the Manage FBA Inventory page, and I'm also just using the uh, Restock Inventory page. I have another video which shows how to do that. And I've determined that there will be two SKUs that will be going in there, this one, the blue one, and the tan one. So let's start with the blue one first. This is actually one of my top selling products. So I just copied the SKU. I'm just gonna plug it in here. This gets into a little kind of uh, a pain in the neck with calculating it, but I'm just gonna do percentage off and I'm gonna say 25%, which is a pretty generous discount. And then you have to set the minimum price. So the minimum price, so I first of all, I just set the, the, pr the current price of this is 27.99. So maybe what I'm gonna do, let's fire up the calculator. So uh, 27.99. Uh, times 0.75, so that's 25% off. So 20.99, that is th th that it should be around that particular price. I found that sometimes if it doesn't quite match that, it will give you an error code. So I'm just going to set it to 20.49 in case Amazon is screwing around with things. An operation ad, so you can tell that this particular tool, like many of them, was made by a was made by an engineer. So it's, as you can see, it's already giving me an error message. Um, please enter a valid value. The two nearest valid values are 20 and 21. So it doesn't let you send, it doesn't let you use uh, uh, cents. It has to be a raw dollar. So I'm just gonna say 20, okay? So that's the first SKU. And then the second SKU is this one. This is not one of my best selling products, but I do have a lot of inventory available. There's 70 units right now. So I'm gonna go back here, plug in the SKU percentage off and actually because this one doesn't sell as well um, I might consider giving it a bigger discount but it's $21.99 so I don't really have much of a margin there and by the way that, that's another important consideration when you're doing these these prime exclusive discounts like your margin should should support it you know I don't want to set a 50% discount on any of these products because I wouldn't be making any money I'd just be basically giving stuff away and Amazon would be the only one profiting from this so I'm gonna keep this one to 25% and again, go to the calculator, figure out what that is. So let's see here, 21.99 times 0.75 equals 16.49. So 16.49, that will be the price after you take off 
So I'm gonna have to set this to 16. And I think we're good to go. I'm gonna submit the products, validating the price, minimum, checking the minimum price versus what I have here. Um, to provide the best customer experience, we require that products display a reference price to participants and prime exclusive discounts. So I already have that set up in, in my, on my listing, so that should be okay. And it looks like it, ex it, looks like it accepted it. Um, but, you know, th these, these warnings here, it, make, it doesn't really make it clear if it's, if it's good or not. Discounts not meeting the guidelines will be suppressed later. Well, shouldn't they, shouldn't they do these checks while you're submitting the information? Anyways, this is dealing with Amazon. You know what it's like. As I said before, the technology at Amazon is like a rickety roller coaster. Um, it's designed to go fast. It doesn't always work that well. There's always bugs or things that are breaking. I think I did it correctly, and the minimum prices are listed here, so it can't go any lower than that. This still supports my margins, and I gave you some other information on using uh, the Prime exclusive discount. So I think we're good to go. Uh, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. And also, if you want to learn more about how to sell on Amazon, go to leemedia.org. That's my official website. Click on a uh, blog or video. I have tons of free information about using Amazon. I try to help people out. There's no charge for reading this stuff or, or watching the videos. So I hope that helps out. Take a moment to like it and follow me, and I shall see you next time. Thank you so much.